EA Sports brings you a special edition of the National Football League for this New Year's Day matchup. It's the Panthers and the Buccaneers, and it's coming up next. On the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium, just north of downtown Tampa. Today, we've got an NFC South matchup, as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. Certainly happy to have you along. Chase McLaughlin has it on the tee, and off we go here in Tampa. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. Bringing them out is the number one overall pick this year, Heisman Trophy winner at Alabama, Bryce Young. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment, running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. They'll start on the ground with Hubbard. And that's not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. You got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sets his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. Miles Sanders first carry of the game. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. for the Bucs is Devin Tompkins. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And bringing them out is the top pick in the 2018 draft, fiery competitor from Oklahoma, Baker Mayfield. And he's a guy who plays with a lot of emotion. He's learned how to channel it really positively because when he throws the football downfield and makes a big play, he'll be the first guy downfield to celebrate with you. But also, when his team needs that confidence, when they need that jolt, they turn to him, and he's ready to provide it. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They start to drive with White. Dodges him at the 50. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. 
A first down throw from Mayfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They run straight ahead here with White. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers 37. Nine yards, not quite enough. And they'll be left now with third and one. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. Excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. First down, here's White. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. From the 20, here's second down and eight. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield. It's going to be incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. On third down, Mayfield. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Strong coverage by Carolina, and on we go to fourth down. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. This will be a 37-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And the Bucs take a 3-0 lead. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. After the main field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little I bit don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and they out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. 
or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top, or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. And they run the option here on first and 10. Nifty move. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 34. Straight ahead with Hubbard. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. They'll try to throw down Young. A short throw hold in by Trimble. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Zone coverage here defensively. They're going to let their tight end run a drag across the field. This is where a linebacker gets forced to pass him off. That time, the receiver gets lost a little bit, and he's able to make the catch and pick up good yardage and a first down. This is caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Great footwork there, Charles, to dot the I, stay in bounds, get both feet in. He's probably thinking, though, man, I made a catch like that that close to the end zone. I should have scored. Yeah, there's always a regret when you're that close to the goal line. But let's get back to what you talked about before, getting his feet down. Would you say dotting the I? Mm -hmm. I can cross the T as well. That was excellent footwork to get in bounds and make a great catch. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. To throw, Young. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. DJ Shark, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers have answered that early field goal to take a first-quarter lead. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive dead with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. From the 
lineman to the guy running with it. That was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. They keep it on the ground, wide again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Now a third and six. Now Mayfield. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a bunch first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. White, he'll try the left side. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. That was a terrific play, causing a loss. As a middle linebacker, simple. You can either fill holes or you can attack them, as he did there. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. They'll go up the middle with White. And he'll get this up to about the 40. 46 yards rushing for him now to this point. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Here's Mayfield. And it's incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Now back to the ground game with White. And he is going to lose yardage here. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Mayfield. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Carolina getting set to take the field. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them and do I have enough confidence to make a play? 
Second down, another chance for Hubbard. Yeah, he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. With a heavy set out there, three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Well, it wasn't a goal line situation, but how about the goal line formation on third and short? They went in and went heavy. No surprise that it was going to get the football. How about the power exhibited there? Yeah, that was just put a hat on a hat, drive forward. Nice job to pick it up. A first down throw for Young. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. After one, 7 3 the score on EA Sports. Panther football to start quarter number two. Second down at six now from the 42 as they've got it as we resume action. They'll air one out deep for Mingo. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. And a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. On play action, they'll throw. And it's caught. Touchdown, Panthers. DJ Chark. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Panthers had six to their lead. Well, only the two catches for him thus far, CD, but both of them have resulted in touchdowns. And I think he's on the bench right now, Brandon, smiling at his position coach and telling him, all those times you talked to us about efficiency, I'm living it right now. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. That time, a six-play drive. And it's DJ Chark who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. They trail now 14 to three, an 11 point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. Starts with a run by White. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Second and five. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. 
Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. Well, this hasn't really been a first half to remember on either side of the ball, but I think this kind of makes this an important drive. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can, and that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Mayfield now from the 50. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And from the 42 now, here's second and two. Now a give up the middle. This is White. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. The offense on third down tonight. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. They're looking at third and a few inches. Looking for Godwin, and he's got it complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Now a first down run is going nowhere. He's going to be dropped in the backfield, a loss of two. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight ahead pursuit and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. 63 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, and in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Keefed, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Buccaneers are back within a score. Did you see how the linebackers froze for just a second? That's why you run play action. You want to keep them rooted in the spot and create a little bit of extra space so your tight end can find some room behind them. And then the quarterback finds his target downfield and he turns it into six points. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. the touchdown. Here's McLaughlin to kick off. Now Raheem Blackshear going to take this one out. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one as he's tackled at the 15. Look at DJ Chark as he and the rest of the offense head back out. He has certainly made the most of his catches so far, both of them going for touchdowns here in half number one. And we've never met a team that doesn't talk about getting off to a fast start and featuring guys that they wanted to have the ball early. We're seeing both of those come into play here. 
off to an incredible start, got their feature guy going, and now everyone else should have opportunities. First and 10, Young. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll set up a throw. That one complete. He finds Shark, and he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 17 yards is the pickup there for number 17. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Young to throw it. He'll find Smith Marset complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. First down, Young. And that throw behind his man. He missed him, incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard to the 36-yard line. Stop there. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second down and seven. Young. Escaping the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. As we both know, there's a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. Out of the gun, here's the give to Hubbard. They'll get this down to the 21, just on the edge of the red zone. Second and six. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks' 15-yard line. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Tried run for it with Sanders. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. 
We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Now a first and 10 at the 11. On the give, this is Hubbard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Here's Young from the shotgun. And his throw here is incomplete. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got the way to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right, not to be. Now this offense on third down today, they've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 11. Looking to throw, Young. No, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. And the Bucs are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and 10. two defensive ends over the offensive tackles that means the guards don't have anyone over the top of them that creates a natural bubble inside where they sprint upfield take on the inside linebackers and if the back hits it fast enough there should be space to run Mayfield now looking to throw on first down and a little floater there is incomplete An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Throwing Mayfield over the middle, and it's incomplete. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. They run straight ahead here with White. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Panthers will take over now first and 10. shake off the interception he'll look to throw that's to the right sideline and it falls incomplete 
So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was gonna get it. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Got his man, it's Jonathan Mingo. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. for the fair catch makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line so a change of possession here on the punt and the Bucks are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory First and ten, Mayfield. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Troy Hill picks it. And they will set up shop with outstanding field position in the red zone at the 17-yard line. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Following the interception, Young. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. And he was looking for Chuba Hubbard out of the backfield, and that'll bring up second down. Now Young. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And the Buccaneers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. Well, the Bucs going to take over now late in this first half. And with them trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. the interception Mayfield the throw out wide going to be incomplete again from the 20 after the incompletion here's second and 10 Mayfield looks to throw and his throw is incomplete. They're a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. 
On a handoff, it's White. And he's got Rome. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Mayfield. That's completed right side to Palmer. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. To throw, Mayfield. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. He was looking for Chris Godwin that time, but it'll be second down. Here's Mayfield. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. He's still on his feet. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Chris Godwin as the first half is winding down. And the Bucs have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So they're able to capture the lead here just before halftime. And not only that, they get the ball to start the second yeah, half. That's right. This is almost like basketball down the stretch, right, where you get the two-for-one situation where you try and get two shots to your opponent's one. In this situation, they got the touchdown. They'll get another shot at to start the second half. Could be a big turnaround. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And it's now 17-14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Young. And incomplete on the deep ball. Definitely worth taking another deep shot here. He's already found the end zone twice here in the first half. Yeah, go back to that same well. They've had trouble containing him, but able to contain him on that play. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. Before reaching 
approaching the 30. So we've hit halftime here in Tampa with a box out in front. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half out of the former Heisman Trophy winner, Baker Mayfield. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. Okay, coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Field goal, the difference. 17 14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Bucks offense set to begin this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. And this is going to be a Bucks first down as he'll get this out to about the 42. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just the series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle someone. Call it a gain of a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Second and nine from the 44. Mayfield down. His throw incomplete. That ball was tipped in the air, and while it ultimately fell incomplete, it caused a few anxious moments for the guy slinging it, who's had quite a day. He knows how to get it into the end zone. He's throwing it really, really well, and maybe Lady Luck is on his side because he avoided his first interception of the contest. On third down, Mayfield. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 38-yard line. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. Mayfield to throw it. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. First down, here's White. into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. 23 yards for Rashad White. And the Bucs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted. 
which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense a rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. And Young's throw there incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity, because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And they can't bring him down. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 53 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. On first and 10, Young. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ballgame. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How'd things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. he's doing okay. Now a give to White, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. This is second and eight. Mayfield off the play fake. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll make it third down. Mayfield. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nice idea, nice concept there. Line him up on the left side of the formation, let him sneak his way across, coming back underneath, put it in his hands, let him get a few more yards after the catch, too. Great way to utilize a tight end on the drag route. Mayfield on first down. Finding Otten once more. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Giving back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another 
First down. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Here's White. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just a third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. Second and goal from inside the five. They'll look to throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. But now it's third and goal. They're going to look to throw. Touchdown! Trey Palmer from four yards out. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. I think it's easy to say mission accomplished on that drive. The goal was to increase the lead. They did exactly that. McLaughlin for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. the touchdown. Here's McLaughlin to kick off. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Room to run at the 50. Still going inside the 30. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Carolina. It's been a back and forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Well, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Back now comes Tampa Bay. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to keep the crowd going. They're loving that. 
but defensively, they just can't get it together to get the stops they've needed in order to help increase their margin. They've got to find a way, but you're not counting on it. Exactly what you said. Can't miss your turn. Can't miss. They've got his man complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Give him 32 on the play. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. And he can't quite bring it in. Might have heard footsteps there across the middle. Second down. He has just not had his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. Here's second and ten. They defer to White out of the shotgun. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. is the target incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now as he's on to kick it away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Possession of the football goes over to Carolina. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself how you show your team that you're still with it and how you continue to lead. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Young. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. You know they wanted, you know they expected. They needed him to be sharp coming out after the half. Unfortunately, he's missed his first three throws. I wonder if he got out late and missed his warm-up time. The whole team did come out a little bit later than usual. I don't know, maybe there's something to that. Must have been a heck of a halftime speech. They have maybe just trying to rally the troops back from this deficit. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he is going to lose yardage here. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give them a lot of confidence to help turn things around. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for Carolina. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. One 
One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Play fake. Mayfield. Right back to Chris Godwin. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it'll be second down. Mayfield on play action. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. So with a yardage on that completion, he's now right at exactly 300 yards on the game. And isn't that the magic number you get, all right, 300? That means it's going to go on a commemorative football to put on your mantle when they give you the game ball if your team wins. So much confidence flowing through him right now, throwing the football. I think it's permeated itself throughout the entire team. They feel good about what they're doing. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and six. Going to the air again with Mayfield. Over the middle to Evans. They'll give him four yards there. And this will wind up being a third and three. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short definitely was a great time to dial one up. They go right back to White here on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Here's second and seven. Now Mayfield. It's another first down. Here's Mayfield. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. But when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. And they're not able to hook up there, incomplete. Good coverage yet again down here by the goal line. Everyone's blanketed, and he's forced to throw it away and try and come up with something on third down. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? To throw Mayfield. His pass caught at the four. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, Look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. And he'll be caught behind the line of scrimmage at the three. They stop him on fourth and goal at the three. And the Panthers' defense able to deliver the goal line stand. They 
This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. It's the Panthers in possession of the football, but facing a deficit here as we get to the fourth and final quarter of play. The offense on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and four. Young to throw it. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. All oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was right for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for Carolina. Taking on the midfield logo. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. They've got a chance now to put this game away following that last defensive stop and punt. They'll go up the middle with White. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. First down line at the 34 here on third down. Mayfield looks to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He had one touchdown earlier, nearly a second one there. Yeah, it took a touchdown saving tackle to keep him out of the end zone after a big play. Perhaps you go right back to him. Don't need the distance, but maybe he can pay things off after a big effort. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. White will score. Touchdown, Buccaneers. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come and have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was Rashad White who wrapped the drive up with a touchdown run. Chase McLaughlin. 
Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Now here's Young. That's complete out right to the tight end, Trimble. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Throwing, Young. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Uh, you got a young quarterback. You know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. That throw by Young incomplete. DJ Chark, the intended target, third down here. To the air once more, Young. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. And the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. Apparently, they weren't interested in playing the field position game. They opt to keep their offense out there. A big mistake in hindsight. Yeah, that one backfired, and hindsight's always 20-20. But let's call it what it was. We would have first guessed that one and said, don't do it here. Bad situation. I think they need to be closer to midfield before I would start to think it was a good idea. Yeah. And once you start taking risks like that, you're going to have to keep taking them throughout the game, especially when they don't work. Yeah, at this stage of the second half, interesting. They will run with White out of the shotgun. Down to about the 37. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. This a second and seven from the 37. They stay on the ground with White. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he pulls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Trey Palmer with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bucs are able to add on to that lead. 
Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead is now 24. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. This fielded right at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And the Panthers coming out now. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. First down, Young. Open man left side. It's the tight end, Trimble. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Time running short here in the fourth quarter. You're down three scores, and I think you've got a defense here saying we just need to prevent the home run. So a good, smart offensive coordinator can use that as an advantage, and that's a nice throw there to pick up the first down. They'll set up the screen here for Hubbard. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. Boy, that one was well read defensively, and this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Now Young. when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. The Panthers on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This will be third and six. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. 15 yards there for number 15. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. It'll be Young again. That's caught by Mingo right side. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. When you decide to run a hitch route, it really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Second down and four. Here is Young. And quickly to feel in here. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks' 32-yard line. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. Nothing flashy there, the slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play, and you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch, and then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. On first and 10, Young. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Back to throw again. That caught by Tremble. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Buck 17-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs.
So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now a give, it's Hubbard going left. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. 77 yards on the ground for Hubbard is that last run of first down. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Young now. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Jonathan Mingo from a yard out. And the Panthers get a bit closer. Obviously, the scoreboard right now is not the friend of this rookie quarterback, but hey, a touchdown pass there maybe builds a little confidence. Every rep is valuable when you're a rookie. Every time you step up and throw the football, there's a lesson to be learned. Yeah, he took advantage of a little bit of loose coverage there with the lead, but at the same time, got it done. It'll take a little bit of satisfaction away from that throw. You know, sometimes the guy on the defensive side of the ball, he just has a good feeling or a good read and he unleashed his defense on that one. Boy, they stopped him in a big way. Yeah, I hate to be cliche, but sometimes we overanalyze. They just have more want. Looked like they had more <laughs> want right there. More want and more people to the ball. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Buccaneers able to recover. Their hands team does its job. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Going right side is White, and they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. So nothing there that time, and maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't, and you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Here's a toss right side with White. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line, and that is not near enough. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And you can't do it much better than that. This ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. The Carolina offense about ready to go. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. That's a double win there, partner. You keep out of the return man's hands, and you pin him inside the five-yard line. Pretty darn good. And they'll start on the ground with Hubbard. And they'll get him down up past 
the 15, just shy of the 20. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Probably wishing that they could have had a few runs like that earlier in the game now facing this deficit in the fourth. Hard to criticize a run of that magnitude, but they really need those types of runs to go the distance and need bigger plays to try and get back into this one. Now Young. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Back to throw. And this one into the hands of DJ Shark. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. The Panthers on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This time they face a third and two. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. They didn't need much. They didn't get much. But what they did get was enough for a first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. First and 10, Young. There's Tremble, the tight end. And he'll be knocked to the turf right there, but they're across the 50 at the 48 now. A well-executed 22-yard game. Now they got to get to the line quickly. They go play action, Young. That is caught by Thielen. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Two jump plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. A good pick up there, a 22. Boy, this is a well-orchestrated drive they've put together. You think back to how far they were backed up to start things out, but they've gone on a march since then, and now after that completion there, they've got a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first, and he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Adam Thielen from three yards out, and the Panthers go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really 
Not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, a run from White. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. So now Young and the Panthers down by 11, 23 seconds to go. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. Young. Wide open receiver complete. Able to get out across the 40-yard line, so a spectacular play to begin this drive. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory. Even better for them.